So often as Christians, we struggle to take a hold of what God is promising us because we won't let go of our past. As we continue with this remarkable conversation between Jesus and this woman, he's offered her living water. Now, before she can take a hold of that, she has to deal with the cause of the sin in her life. And so you have this wonderful conversation, John chapter 5, 15 to 18. The woman said to him, Sir, give this water so that I may never be thirsty again. We'll have to keep coming here to draw water. Coming here is the source of her pain because she's ostracized in the community because of a problem she has. And Jesus goes straight to the heart of the problem here. He said to go and call your husband and come back. The woman said, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, you have, you're right in saying, I have no husband. For you have five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you've said is true. The whole story opens up here because we understand why she feels ostracized. Because she is looking for love and acceptance and not finding it. And she's gone to husband upon husband after husband. And so the woman in the village are kind of going, well, you stay away. We know how that goes. But Jesus can heal her heart because at the heart of it, what she's looking for is love. And But to do that, she needs to bring her sin to the foot of the cross and leave it there so that she can go forward without it so that she can be truly forgiven, so that she can take hold of eternal life. This reminds each one of us is that we have a past. We have sin. We have things to be ashamed of. God knows our sin. He chooses not to define us by our sin. And therefore, he asks us to let go, to confess the sin to him, and to recognize that by letting go, we're then able to truly take a hold of this thing called eternal life. It's really hard to do because we become so comfortable with our sin. But if we are able to find the strength to do that, to bring our sin and our shame to Jesus, he will cover our sin and set us free. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we take a moment today and, and hopefully a little bit more than a moment to search our hearts, to confess our sin, to bring it to the foot of the cross and leave it there so that we do not let that sin define our future and so that we can take a hold of all the promises of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.